almost miraculous. One doctor's assessment as Kent Brantley walked into hospital in Georgia. The missionary doctor was infected with Ebola as he worked with patients in Liberia. But he's responded so well to an experimental new drug that he had no need for a stretcher as he made his way into Emory Hospital, one of just four hospitals in the US which is equipped to treat patients with the deadly virus. One of America's leading health experts says that Dr. Brantley's progress is encouraging, but he's urging caution. As we all know in medicine, when you have, as we say, an N equals one, a single individual that had that experience, you note it and you hope that, in fact, that's the way it has worked. But you've got to withhold judgment as to whether or not that was completely related to the antibody. I hope it was. I'm, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, un, unduly skeptical. I, I hope that, in fact, that happened. But, I mean, we've taken care of individuals who come in in shock and you give them an antibiotic if they have a bacterial infection. But you also give them a lot of fluid and they get better real quickly. And what was it, the antibiotic or was it the fluid? So we really need to be careful. I do hope that it was as impressive as being described, because if it is, that bodes very well for that particular product. But could that product, a serum called ZMAP, be developed quickly enough to help to fight the outbreak in Africa? That's unlikely, according to Anthony Forci. One of the real problems with, with if in fact it is this product that we're talking about, is that there are very, very few doses, and apparently the company is trying to scale up. It's not easy to scale up to very large numbers of doses, but that's something that's under intense discussion now about how one can actually scale up so that there are more doses available. The special evacuation plane used to transport Dr. Brantley back to the US has just returned from a second trip to Liberia to pick up another patient, aid worker Nancy Wrightbowl. Both of them will be treated in the isolation unit at Emory Hospital. As President Obama welcomed 50 African heads of state to town for the inaugural US-Africa Leaders Summit, Ebola has become something of a party spoiler, bringing unwanted attention to the very kinds of stereotypes about disease and poverty that this high-profile summit was meant to break. Kate Fisher, CCTV, Washington.